Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilson. I'm your host, Bilson. Well, it's in the morning, really early today. I'm making myself a coffee or mom and kid are still sleeping. What I do in the morning, just so you know, is I get up, get in the shower, brush my teeth. I come out here, I start the coffee maker. I lay down for five minutes until my coffee's done. Then I pour myself a cup of coffee. When I pour myself a cup of coffee, it's just a small one. I don't do a big one. I take like a medium-sized cup, you know, something like that. It's not much bigger than your hand, right? You set her over here. Break. Set her over here like this. You take your coffee, pour it in, Jim. Can you hear that? is I don't know about you guys but cream and sugar guy I like to uh, mix it up a little bit I like to take uh, this delight stuff here this stuff works pretty good because it gives you your cream and it gives you your sugar and it gives you your maximum fat intake for the whole day so I pour about just a little bit in there not much about that much so now you just get a little stir lid on see it's got a little flapper i'm hoping you can freaking hear me because i am talking quiet today so there we go mom stayed up a little bit late last night for me and she ate me a couple sandwiches and I th i'm pretty sure they're uh not sure let's get them out and see what they are mom knows i like my sandwiches she does i'm telling her i'm cutting back a little only make me three because you know i don't want to eat too much during the day so she made me like three little sandwiches here really i don't want three hey i'll take three and i'll have one for breakfast because they're egg salad sandwiches I've got egg salad sandwiches here today so i got my i got my breakfast i've got my lunch and i've got my afternoon snack see all in one that's all i need jim i bought myself a uh lunch bag i could take all these sandwiches and put in one bag and then i wouldn't have any problems carrying it so i'll do that right now I'll put that in my lunch bag here you can get these from any uh, grocery store these lunch bags and you wouldn't believe it too that these lunch bags come with bread so they kind of serve a couple purposes they do so that's all right there's my lunch bag done so i got my lunch i got my coffee if you think you're the only one taking too many goddamn pills join the club and the only reason why i'm taking so many pills right now of course is because of my leg right it's all dicked over but it's slowly getting better you know i can actually stretch see see i can stretch see that that's pretty freaking decent right there don't get jealous you know sure it hurts like a mother but hey i can do it and it feels good oh look i need new work pants too they're kind of cocked over but i have lost uh 12 pounds i'm back down to my normal weight which is uh 246 so there you go coming back down jim 634 should actually start the old silverado that's the next thing we normally do because i don't have an auto start so come with me it's dark i know but hey you can come anyway hey google turn on garage lights well i wouldn't yet Still sitting there, same spot. Nothing done. Why would there be? That's the way she goes, boys. We're gonna write it is. Ready? We're at a cold starter, Jim. Not too bad, eh? Fired right up. Hey Google, garage lights off. She didn't hear me. Oh, she did hear me. Holy shit. So there we go. So see, we're done that part. So now we'll let that rig warm up there. We're gonna go in the other room there, sit on the couch and check out some uh, messages on the old YouTubes. And then we'll get heading out. Well, there we go, we're in the truck. Got everything we need today to get this day going. Got a mobile job first thing this morning. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna go with me. Only I'll uh, throw this in the van here and yeah, I'll take you with me anyway. So here we go. Now we're at work, finally got here. Took me about an hour and 45 minutes. And uh, we just fire up the computers in the morning. Sit back, see what we got going on today. Go from there. But by the looks of her, you gotta be back in Wyoming at uh, about 8.30 at Hydro One there to do a stone chip repair. So we'll be heading out here uh, shortly. She's a little bit of a quiet day today. She is, which is good. I don't mind at all. Frig no, I don't mind. Two windshields at back, last little repair so far. But that changes by the friggin' minute. Probably gonna have to go back to JJ 
today. Put a tailgate hatch back in. Speaking of tailgate hatches, hopefully Steve, oh, Steve did put that in the van, I bet, yesterday. Oh, dick. So I'm probably have to drop that back off. But anyways, there you go. That's, that's morning so far. We're here, we made her. Another day, another dollar. And yeah, what's your morning like? You tell me. Leave your comments down below and let me know what your morning routine is. Is it the same as mine or is it different? Well, depends if you're young and dumb and full of gum. You'd probably be uh, doing stuff differently than I would as a 47 year old man living his life like he's still 25. Kinda. My brain is, my body's not, eh? Put it that way. Well, like I said, leave your comments down below. I always like to know how you do and what you do in the morning and this and that and the other thing. I always like to know what's going on on the other end of this uh, camera. We'll be back here as soon as we get rolling. On our way to Hydro One to do a stone chip. It's supposed to snow again today. It doesn't look like it is gonna right now, but it's kind of sunny that way. The sun's kind of sticking its head out over this way. But if you look over this way, she looks kind of dark, she's coming in there. So I think we're gonna end up getting some snow. I've been known to be wrong before, so we're gonna have to freaking see. That, that was that. Oh, I'm rubbing the mic against the door window. How does that feel, eh? Do you feel that? Feel good, does it? Yeah, it does. Must be garbage day, why wouldn't it? Uh, careful. Uh, uh, careful? Freak. Cool busters are out. Taking another sip of our good coffee that we made this morning together. I really enjoyed that, by the way, making a coffee with you today. That was fun. Thanks for being there when I was making a coffee. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below how you make your coffee. Because I always want to know, and what the hell's making all this damn noise? I think you're in a work van or something. I gotta wash my van. My van is the dirtiest it's ever been. It's horrible. Give her a quick blow job. Do that after Hydro One. We'll spend a couple bucks on her and give her a hose job. Get off the heavy stuff. Somebody's texting me. Twice. I'm important. Mold out at Hydro One. Got that all fixed up. Stone chip repair done. Still seed a little bit, but at least it's repaired, Jim. So she won't spread. But now I gotta go all the way back to Wofford to drop off a back glass because my partner in crime there, Stevie, put her in the back of the van and he didn't know that they put them back in themselves. He just gets me to pull them sometimes, he does, and he puts them back in himself to save himself some bucks, eh? Unfortunately, I gotta waste some gas and go back to Wofford and drop off a back glass. Oh, shucks, darn jeepers, what am I gonna do? Tell you one thing, the old leg's saying thank you for that. We got an easy day today, so it works out okay. Hasn't started snowing yet, so we're doing good there. We're beating the snow. Like I said, it's starting to look like it's gonna wanna soon. Pretty lucky that way. I live in an area where it's pretty open. They were not crowded. I couldn't live in Toronto and stuff like that, or New York, or wherever. I feel like I'm in a hamster bowl or a fish tank. I like the open farm look, space. The final frontier. It's coming into the big town of Wofford. We got something going on up here. We got some construction or something. Or it might be Hydro One. I did hear the boys saying they got lots of work to do today when I was there doing stone chip repair or something. Who knows? Let's check it out and see what's what. Looks like. <laughs> Careful. Looks like a pump truck from here. Oh, it's the boys running the lines. Fiber optic boys. Giving everybody high speed internet out here in Wofford. Ah, oh, yeah, you guys are awesome. They've got their masks on outside where, you know, they can kiss and touch everybody, lick everybody. You better be wearing your mask, Captain. But yeah, out here in Wofford, it's a little town called Wofford. And in Wofford, nothing happens. You can come out for a good deal, maybe on a car or something, or Tim Horton's coffee. But I wouldn't suggest that because me and Steve got a coffee from there yesterday. And it was friggin' awful. But they do have a food land, good old food land. I don't know if anybody knows what that is, but that's a, a place where you um, get some groceries. Wofford gets some new houses going up too, I see. Cal Tire. If anybody needs some tires, don't go there because they don't support Go Glass and Accessories. Why would they? Maybe if you're ever in Cal Tire in Wofford, tell them they should be used dirty old Go Glass. Why wouldn't you? They don't even look like they're open, Captain. Jags, Everyday Garage. They don't use Go Glass and Accessories either, so if you're ever in there, tell them what the hell's really going on. Not that I care. I've got enough work anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But hey, Never hurts to have some backup accounts, eh? Oh, LCBO. You missed that one. Oh, excavator digging snow. He's in. In the train bridge. I've been waiting forever to get a train off this bridge for my other channel. But it's never happening, Captain. One day, maybe. And back to Sarnia. Ah, oh, snowmobile trails. They look like they're open, Jim. <sighs> Last year, the snowmobile trails didn't even open here. And they're probably not open right now. But the flags are up, so 
I'd be using them. I bet that there's not too many people that have bought the trail pass for 200 and some freaking dollars. That's what I'm thinking. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be buying any freaking trail pass until the snow out. I think you're going to pay $190 probably, but hey, if you spend $240 ahead of time and there's no snow, you're out $240. So if you're a sledder, leave your comments down below and let me know if you wait until the trails are open before you pay for a trail pass. Or do you just shop the hell out of them and just ride on it anyway till you get nailed? Fire your minds want to know. Cow. I just thought of something right now because of something that was booked in the scheduler today. If you have a vehicle that has a sunroof and it's freezing cold outside and there's snow and ice everywhere and you wash your vehicle and the sunroof leaks, your drain tubes are probably frozen. There's four drain tubes in a factory sunroof that come out down near the fenders and if there's snow and ice in your fenders, I guarantee you the drain tubes are probably frozen. So just a tip of the day. Alright, thanks a lot asshole. You go through a car wash and it's freezing cold out and you get wet, your drain tubes are probably frozen or plug. Take some air and blow them out. It'd be good to go. Cap. Gonna pick up a window for good old J&J. &J. Go slap that back in the hole. And then I don't know what. Well, we're all done at J&J, so now I'm gonna go back to the shop. I gotta change my headlight because I put headlights in my Chevy Silverado and one's a different color than the other, so we're gonna warranty them and switch them around. I just took some pain meds because I didn't want to take pain meds until I was done my road work, Captain. We'll go back to the shop and we'll see what's really going on. Let's give the old work van a quick wash off. Didn't wash it, just rinsed it. Because the streets look like that, so there's no point. I don't like too much friggin' on my van. If I don't, it'll look like that thing. Just cocked right over, Captain. That old Chevy that just backed out there was pretty rotten. He's washing her seats and he still cares. He's like, I ain't gonna replace this old bitch. You know how much you want for a new truck nowadays? I'm a farmer. I can't afford that. Back at the shop. Everything's done. It did good, didn't it, Steve? Yep. How'd you make out with this bad boy? It says here we should work in teams. Huh? What happened? Did it get broken? Yep. Get broken. Picked up some pizza. Going to head home. And have some pizza. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Friggin' right it does. I thought to myself, it's Thursday, it's payday. Mom's working. What the hell, me and Mel will just get a pizza for dinner. Let me know in the comments below if you're having pizza today. And we'll have to see what happens. Snowing out again. We're following Perry in the big old Snap-on truck. Brought to you by Snap-on. And I gotta plug you in, Mr. Uh, GoPro Hero Niner. I used you a lot this afternoon, I did. And you'll see why in a video to come. Friggin' right, well, people in front of me are thinking, what's going on here? Look at the rust in the back of that beast. Oh yeah, you did. Just cocked right over, Jim. Any trains? Oh, they're over there working on the tracks, doing something. I'm not sure what. Radio's off. Frank 19 radio, radio over. Come in, radio. Frank, radio, Carol. Nope, nobody's on the radio. Why would they be? Hey, thanks for coming in to look at some weld uh, rims today. Won't mention your name, but you know who you are. Hey, nice talking to you, bud. Thanks for all the praises and the good comments. I appreciate that big time. I like people like you sticking up for the dirty old bills. Why like, wouldn't you, bud? But hopefully everybody's having a good day, not doing anything I ain't doing. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification. And until next time, you know what to do for now.